Hello everyone, I am your produce guy. You know, around the holidays, sweet potatoes are a classic. In fact, they're served up at my house in a dish that we call candied yams. And they are loaded with brown sugar, butter, and marshmallows on top. While that is way delicious, it's also loaded with tons of refined sugar. I want to show you an alternative dish here today that is more healthy, delicious, and uses nature's sugar instead. Now I'm starting out with four small to medium sweet potatoes. Now these are the dark skinned sweet potatoes sold in the stores as yams. We're going to go ahead and prepare those by washing the skins first and then poking several holes in the skin so that as we put them in the oven to bake them, they don't explode and go all over the place. Pop them into a 350 degree oven and they'll go for about 40 minutes. Now yams or these sweet potatoes are going to need, depending on their size, different uh, times. The times will vary, cooking times. The way you can tell that your sweet potatoes are done is when you start to smell them. Then you know they are ready. Once you uh, have got them baked, pull them out and cut them in half and open them up so that the heat uh, dissipates and you kind of arrest the cooking on those. We, want, we don't want them mushy. We want some nice uh, texture still left in those. Once they've cooled down, then go ahead and peel off the skins and give them a rough chop so you've got some uh, cubes of yams and we are ready to go. The rest of the ingredients in this are three quarters of a cup of crushed pineapple. Now this is canned pineapple. You can of course can use fresh because fresh is best. You just go have to go ahead and have to cut it up by hand. I've got a tablespoon of orange juice concentrate, a tablespoon of honey, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now you can go ahead and peel and boil your sweet potatoes, but I think you're cheating yourself if you do so. Cooking, it, cooking them in the oven, that allows the caramelization to take place. A nice slow cook there at the 350 and it brings out the natural sweetness in those yams. Let me get the rest of that juice there. Now I'm mixing all these, uh, the first four ingredients together because I don't want to break up my yams too much. So we're going to go ahead and get a good mix there. And once that's all combined, go ahead and add in our sweet potatoes. Give that a good stir. With everything combined, you're ready to pop it right into, in this case, I've got an eight by eight baking dish right here, ungreased. It just goes in and I'm gonna pop this into a 375 degree oven. That's gonna go for about 25 minutes we're just going to heat it through uh, really well. Nice thing about this is you can make it in advance, refrigerate it, and just add a few more minutes to the uh, cooking time. And just like that, we are done. Let's have a little taste. That is delicious. Hint of orange, pineapple, still some good texture in there. It's not all ground up into a mush, just the way you want it. Delicious and so much better for you than all that refined sugar. That's our sweet potato casserole. Thanks for being with us. I am your produce guy. Remember to find us on Facebook and at Google+. Thanks so much for being with us. I will see you next time. Fresh is best. 
You know, growing up, and even as an adult, I thought the only way you could get cream of mushroom soup was by getting it out of a can, or maybe buying it at a restaurant. I had no idea you could make it fresh at home, and it's so easy. So that's what we're going to do today, is make some fresh cream of mushroom soup. 